more proactive about learning how to defend themselves. And Fox 31's Kelly D'Ambrosio has some helpful tips on how you can protect yourself with everyday items in part two of this special report, Defend Yourself Girl. In part one of this special series, we learned from the district attorney that last year in Doherty County, there were 1,054 female victims of violent crimes on record. We also learned from the Albany Police Department that violent crime in Albany is going down. The Albany Police Department and Jackson Heights Fitness and Wellness Center tell us women are taking advantage of gun safety and self-defense courses offered in our area. So I decided to experience one for myself. Usually we have a great response because people are curious about thing that they can learn to protect themselves. Guys, this is, it looks like it's a very hard thing to get out of, but it's not. The first thing you do is make sure that the person can't move their hands. He called, look what I did. Will has taught us some basic self-defense moves, and we practiced hitting, kicking, and using force to get out of holes. Uh-huh, right. Get the chin. Look at that nose right there. Willis also taught us when walking to our car, you should walk with confidence and have everything you need to get into the car ready to go. Don't talk, stop and talk to strangers. Don't give people direction that you don't know because there are so many ways now that people take advantage of women. So we want to make sure that they know that they don't have to be a victim. Don't do like you see in the movies, the lady fainting, some guy drag them off. No, we, you drag, they drag them off. I want to be kicking, fighting, and biting. We talked with Albany State University Chief of Police, John Fields, about their self-defense course, and he also gave great advice about public safety. Well, one of the things that I tell, tell my daughters and tell my wife is you got to have good observation skills. You always got to look what's going on around you. Uh, today we see a lot of people walking around with cell phones, they're either texting, uh, tweeting, or looking on Facebook. You become a target. Back at the Jackson Heights Defense Course, this advice gave participants confidence. It's good to be aware of your surroundings. So that this class really helped, you know, to be aware of your surroundings just in case. Another class participant, Pat Fenner, brought her daughter so she could learn how to defend herself at a young age. I think it's important not to make our kids fearful, but to know that they do need to um, be confident. I thought it would be kind of a good mom-daughter thing to do. I think it was cool to do to learn some karate with my mom. You know, a few places that uh, you could hurt somebody to protect yourself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not only did we learn how to physically defend ourselves, but how everyday items can be used to our advantage. I bet no one thinks about carrying around a fork in their, in their purse. That's a great weapon. There's so many simple things that I, that I teach them that you have on you all the time. And earrings, they are good, especially the one with the pulse in them. Regular water gun from the 5 and 10 store or the dollar store and fill it up with 100% ammonia. It's just as effective as having mace. The ink pen is a, a ballpoint pen is a very good weapon and it's not perceived to be a weapon. I hope you found these tips as helpful as I have. It's time to defend yourself, girl, and bring down the number of violence on women. I'm Kelly D'Ambrosio, Fox 31 News.